The other big database that is important to know is PFAM. PFAM is the largest collection of protein families. And, but it has not a structural basis, although it often overlaps with the structural definition of protein families. So uh, it is based on a great idea by Eric Sonnamer here in our department. And it used to comprise of two parts, P from A and P from B. I think it's P from B is not updated any longer. But uh, it is a sequence description of evolution conserved domains. It doesn't really have to do with structure, but it's a, and actually it not always says that it doesn't always turn to be comprehensive to include every evolutionary event in a protein domain. It just has to be practical, so you can to classify things into things that are easy to identify. So the idea with P from A, I mean, the problem with you do if you try to do a domain database from sequence is that you can make some cluster methods do it automatically. However, that is changed as soon as you obtain more sequences. So the idea here is that P fam should be consistent. So the idea is that you could see the alignment. So you have one alignment that is uh, describing the, the protein domain, and then you use a bit of a hidden mark model of the seed alignment and use this for searching for more members. And the good thing is that if there's something wrong with this domain definition, you can change the seed alignment. Normally you don't need to do that, but it could be that you get information. So maybe you want to realize this is two families, it's split into two different parts, you do make two different seed alignments, or maybe you should merge some families, but you can only change the seed alignments. But most of the time, things are uh, quite consistent between the releases. And as I said before, in earlier lectures, PFAM has about 75% coverage. It has had that for a long time. And today it's about 16,000 sequences. So basically, why don't you get any further? If you look at this, the family here. He said, yeah, this, this, the smaller and smaller you would have, you have a very small family uh, um, to get everything else. Because there are a lot of big families and they get smaller and smaller, that, that, that you will never have to cover it, basically. P from B used to be basically the rest. I don't think it's present any longer, so we're getting on that. And then, of course, it's released every six months, every two months. It is, now, now it's version 30, and there's a lot of mirrors around the world. It has nice websites that's using the lab today.